So hello and welcome back to the new video of the JUnit uh, tutorial series. So in our in this particular video, we will be writing our first JUnit test test case, uh, and it, it it will be this video should be it will be a step by step guide to write a simple JUnit test cases. Okay, so let's get started. I will open my J IntelliJ IDEA and I will click on File a new. I will create a new project. Uh, okay, I will I will create my project name as. Uh, first uh, test case let me give it a name as first test case and the build system should be maven and the language should be java okay so let me go ahead and create and give this uh, this window okay it will create my empty maven project and now i will go ahead and create the dependencies and i hope you have watched our previous video as well and you are following this tutorial series and you're getting what i'm doing over here okay okay i will add my j unit dependencies over here and let me get my latest version and the test should be scope because the j unit is used for the testing purpose right okay so i will go uh, and inside my src main and i will create a new uh, java file inside my org.example. example and uh, let me uh, write the code in my main class itself okay the the class which is given by default by the maven build system okay and i will go ahead and write the code inside this itself okay uh, so let me just uh, or else i can create a new java class and let me call my java class as movies okay uh, so this is uh, inside my package or broad example and i have created one public class which is named as movies okay and i will create one a new method inside this which is public and this method which will return the list of the movies so the return, return type should be list and uh, which is of type string okay and uh, let me call uh, uh, okay so intel gid is telling me that you should uh, import the list uh, let me call uh, import from the util package okay and uh, let me call my method name as get movies get movies is my method name okay and i will just go ahead and okay and i will just go ahead and return uh, the empty list collections from the collection package collection uh, collections dot empty list uh, collections dot empty list Okay, collection sort empty list is the method inside the collection. Okay, so I uh, I do not require this import statement over here. And okay, so this is my method. This method will uh, return the movies uh, in the format of list, which is of type string. Okay, so to test this method, I will go inside my test folder and which is there there is Java uh, Java and I will create a new java class uh, let me call it as uh, movie specs because a lot of developers uh, follow this convention of uh, naming the spec before the class that you are testing okay i will follow that convention over here and inside here uh, i want to test my movies dot java uh, method which is get movies so for testing purpose as we know we have to uh, assert uh, as give assertion as test and after that uh, i will just create one method public uh, void and uh, i will name the uh, method as movies m a uh, empty movies empty or not okay so we are checking whether the movie is empty or not you can give uh, your method name whatever you want uh, there is there are no restrictions on that but give the meaningful name that you can understand what this method is going to do okay so uh, there are three steps uh, uh, for the testing one uh, piece of code that you have written inside your java class over here so uh, those, those, those the three steps are one well, first one is arrange arrange meaning that uh, arrange in the sense you have to set up your data okay i will give the command as set up the data and the second step comes act okay so what is act act means call the methods okay so the 
so we are going to call the method that we have written over there okay and third step is assert okay so assert means what are the assert what are the uh, evaluation that we have done on that test cases okay so we have we're going to write evaluation evaluation of the condition okay so what are, what are the condition that we are going to get evaluation of the conditions okay okay so these are these are the three steps that we are going to pro, uh, perform on our get method a uh, get movies method okay so first of all arrange the set arrange the arrange or the set up the data okay so i will just going to create a, a object of the movies okay or let me call it as movies and is equal which is equals to the new movies okay i will create my uh, create the object and since this method uh, doesn't require any uh, parameter to be passed so that that, that is pretty much data that we have to set up okay so now we go ahead and act that is call the method okay so we're going to call this method uh, we will write movies uh, dot get movies okay and since this method uh, return a list of strings so we have to store that in over here as well so we will write a list of type string which let me let me call it as list itself okay so uh, we're gonna uh, hold that entire uh, list in this list method or object okay okay so we have called this list and now we have to check or the evaluation evaluation of the conditions right so for evaluation we have assert uh, we have assert true we have assert two okay and inside this we're gonna pass list dot is empty we're gonna check whether the list is empty and second parameter we will pass as java 8 lambda expressions uh, which is uh, which is this we're gonna pass the lambda expression and we're gonna say movies uh, should be oops sorry for the typo movie should be empty movie should be empty okay and then end this okay so we are getting error uh, so import okay so java dot dot you need assert true import that okay okay so i guess i have imported the wrong one let me um, get back and import the right assert okay uh, assert statement okay okay so again i am getting error why i can't okay fine just wait a minute okay so we're gonna import i guess this one not the j unit j unit one we're gonna uh, import that of our j unit and we're gonna clean this out okay so this is assert to uh, whether the list is empty so in our case uh, we are returning the empty list okay so this empty list will be stored inside this list variable and this uh, this value will be evaluated as true and our test cases will get passed okay so let's go ahead and see whether our test cases uh, get passed or not okay so i'm just gonna go here and say run specs movie specs and it should give me a red oh uh, sorry it's for the green tick okay so here you can see green tick the all the test cases that you have written inside this method movies empty or not are getting evaluated as true okay so now one thing i can do is uh, what i can do is as instead of calling the assert true i can call uh, assert false as well assert false and now uh, if i just save and i will just again call my movie specs and now this time i should get the test cases as fail because uh, here you can see we are checking whether the list is empty and yes it is returning the empty list but we are uh, checking it on assert false 
uh, which is uh, this 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 one is evaluated as true and we are checking it on the false and uh, our test cases should get failed okay and one more thing you can do is uh, you can just uh, stay state as assert true but you can what you can do is you can come over here and instead of call instead of passing that empty list you can just pass null okay you can return the null over here and you can just go ahead and run the movie specs again in that case also you should you should get the test cases as failed uh, because the list is um, uh, list is null and it is returning the null and we are checking whether the list is empty or not because okay and now i will just revert back to what i have done earlier and so that my test cases should get passed okay this is our past okay so this is how you can uh, create or write your own test case or piece of code and uh, write your own piece of code and write your own your unit test cases and you can pass those or check those methods using the JUnit testing okay uh, so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one